Hi there. This video is about getting to know your Casio FX83 GT Plus calculator. The advice given is also suitable for the 85 GT Plus and others like it, so stay tuned if you have one of those. Now many of you might think that you don't need an instructional video about using your calculator, but I've seen so many pupils over the years lose marks because they've used the calculator wrongly, left it in the wrong mode, or haven't interpreted the answer correctly, and I'd hate for that to happen to you. Let's get started then. First off, resetting your calculator. This will get it back to its initial default settings, just as if it was fresh out of the box. So switch on the calculator, then press Shift 9 3 equals and then AC to clear the screen. This operation also clears all the data in your calculator's memory. If you want to just initialize your calculator's settings without clearing the data, then replace the 3 with a 1, like so. Next up, adjusting the display contrast. To do this, we press Shift, Setup, Down, 6, then left or right to adjust the contrast. When you set the contrast just as you want it, press AC. Now we're ready to do a calculation. OK, let's say we're calculating 90 divided by 135. If we want to display the answer as a decimal rather than a fraction, we'd press the SD button like so. Now I've seen many pupils lose marks because they've written this number as 0 0.6. If you look closely, you'll see the dot above the 6 indicating that it's a recurring number. So in fact, written to one significant figure, it would be 0 0.7. To two significant figures, it would be 0 0.67, and so on. In physics, unlike maths, we wouldn't be allowed to write 0 0.6 recurring with the dot above the 6, because this would indicate that the answer was written to an infinite number of significant figures. Of course, we could just press the SD button again, but you might want to set up the calculator so it doesn't display recurring decimals. To do this, press Shift, Setup, Down, 4, then 2 to turn recurring decimals off. To turn recurring decimals back on, just repeat the above sequence, but press 1 rather than 2 at the end. Remember that when you reset your calculator, recurring decimals are on as a default. You might even want to turn on this setting in one subject, say maths, and often another, like physics. Next, we'll look at some of the display modes so you can decide how you want your calculation to appear when entering it, and when the answer is shown. By default, the calculator uses what's called a natural display, where fractions and other expressions are displayed as they're written on paper. So, if we input our previous calculation of 90 divided by 135, the answer is first written as a fraction, then after pressing the SD as a recurring decimal, then after pressing the SD again as a non-recurring decimal. If you'd like this form of the answer displayed first, then try this. Press Shift Setup 1, then 2 to select Linear Output. When we input our calculation again, we get the non-recurring decimal shown first. We can still view the answer in its other forms by pressing the SD button. To get back to the previous display settings, press Shift Setup 1, then 1 again. Finally, be careful that after a fun-filled maths lesson, you've not left your calculator in radians mode when you want to be entering angles and degrees. To enter angles and degrees, all we have to do is press Shift Setup 3. You should see a small letter D at the top of the screen indicating this choice. If, however, you want to enter angles in radians, say in maths or as we do in advanced higher physics, press Shift Setup 4. A small letter R will now appear at the top of the screen. Just make sure you're aware which mode your calculator's in. When you reset it, it'll default to degrees. So that's all for this video. Hopefully, it'll encourage you to think about how you use your calculator and which settings are best for you. Look out for other videos in this series. The next one covers large and small numbers and the prefixes that you're expected to know at National 5 level and higher. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.